summertime Ken. Got GoPro Tabers, Jeep today. Tell us a little bit about your uh, your new little toy we got going on here. This is the DJI Phantom quadcopter. That's DJI made in China. But uh, this thing is a beast. Actually has a GoPro mount made to the bottom. Of it. Mount there. Just attach the GoPro like that. It's gonna film upside down, of course. But. Uh, this thing is pretty sweet. Yeah, we're gonna get it up uh, quite a ways today. It's a it's a nice day, no clouds. Um, we're over here at a baseball field. A little bit of wind, so we're gonna try and uh, make sure we try can. to keep it away from all the trees over there, and uh, of course the fences and light poles. But this little joker right here is pretty awesome. Uh, what does this cost? Got it on Amazon, right at a little under five hundred dollars now. They've actually come down in price. They used to be. Six, seven, eight hundred dollars, but uh, got it for four eighty. Uh, <coughs> haven't done any modifications to it yet, but there's certainly some mods in here. Uh, in terms of the battery and even motor upgrades, propeller upgrades, get this thing to fly even higher. But we're gonna get it up to a pretty good altitude today. All right, there you have it. He's gonna do his pre-flight checklist. All right, so a couple things to you want to uh, remember. Uh, first off, you want to make sure your propeller is off the motor and the propeller is also your screws here on the bottom that you use to attach the landing gear. Make sure those are in there firm. Your antenna is going to communicate with the uh, with the actual receiver there. Make sure those are taped on there nice. Screws, of course, for the GoPro mount as well. You hate to lose that. Make sure that's on there tight. Then you want to actually attach the GoPro. So we will set this here. And see, attach the GoPro like that. Now as this thing is flying, as it goes, forward like that, you're going to want to make sure that the GoPro has a little bit of an angle. Um, I'll show you when I, when I get it on here exactly the angle that I like to keep it at. The camera, you can see it just kind of adjusts like that. Tight. So as this thing is flying, and this is just the battery compartment, we'll put that in here in just a second. But as this thing is flying, you want to make sure you have it at a good angle. I don't really recommend that, just a totally horizontal. You want to have an angle down a little bit so you can get good aerial shots. Um, that's about the angle that I like it right there. So about 15 degrees off straight up and down. Yeah, about 15. And then just again, make sure that's in there tight. So your camera's secured now. Um, and again, this is filming upside down. I've already done the invert. There's a setting on your GoPro allows it to film upside down, or you can just take the, the upside down video, put it in your software, and flip it. We're gonna go ahead and turn our camera on here. One thing that's neat is you can tell if you're inverted upside down. If you can read it upside down? Yeah, because it'll actually read upside down as well, so you know. Go ahead and turn the camera on. All right, so we're filming. One thing to keep in mind, there's an LED, there's a light here on the back. That's gonna be something that you always need to keep your eye on. Um, that's the low battery indicator. Also indicates whether the, the GPS um, is working correct. So that's always going to be at the back of your quad cop. So whatever direction you want to set as your forward direction, set it before you take off. We are going to set ours. Should probably go against the wind, huh? Yeah, which way is the wind blowing? Coming from this direction over here. Mm -hmm. So we need to face the copter. Maybe turn it around. Yeah, it's hitting me in the face. This way. 
Other thing too, though, I don't want to get that cold. No. Okay, then just fly it backwards when you go up. So yeah. that should be all right. I'm going to pay you. <clears throat> and he's doing, he's facing now west. We'll face it like that. With it, since we have a south-southwest wind coming at us from that direction. All right, and then so he's got the final steps here. Face there, so. Um, controllers on GPS mode. Basically, you're going to want to power on the controller. Like that, red light indicates it's on. And then we will, you might want to get this here. Go ahead and plug in the battery after you power on the controller by just doing this, and it's going to make a noise, let you know. Make some kind of little crazy noise, letting you know it's connected up. Letting you know it's connected up. Battery fits in a really tight compartment there. And I've had that come off. Um, but it's in there, secure there. All right. And again, we're going to face it forward like that. Now, if you come back here behind real quick, you're going to see the blinking light. That's going to be your kind of your indicator. Um, so what it's doing now is it's calibrating make sure it can actually locate its GPS location. And we'll know it's done when it just blinks green really, really fast. So now it's doing kind of intermittent green and red. You want to wait until it actually blinks all green and then you know you're ready to go. It takes about 30 seconds to a minute. It's important during this time while it's doing this not to pick up the, uh, the aircraft. There you go. See, it's all green now. So now, to go ahead and start it, you're going to hold both levers towards each other and down. That there, and you can see that gets the blades going. And then you're going to let this right one go. And then your throttle now is down. Whoops, hang on. Try, try it again. And then your throttle now is back to full, and then you can just go ahead and take off by pressing it up. Alright, we're going to give this guy a go.